Hi, my name is Dr. Alexis Koskin, and I'm a public health professor at Arizona State University's College of Health Solutions. Uh, my whole research area is around human papillomavirus, known as HPV for short, and um, more so it's about how to prevent and control, screen for and treat, um, early signs of HPV-related cancer. So I just want to share some really exciting, interesting information that's relevant, especially to college-age students. So number one, HPV is the most common sexually transmitted infection. Um, it, there's a lifetime risk among women. About 85% of women are at risk for getting at least one strain. 91% of men are at risk for getting at least one strain as well. Um, HPV usually is symptomless unless you develop genital warts. Those genital warts, they're not cancerous, but they do need to be treated. The other strains, which tend to be um, cancerous, there's about 14 HPV strain, different HPV strains that are cancerous. Persistent infection with those strains can lead to the development of certain kinds of cancer. Those cancers are on the screen, and I'll tell you the two most common are actually head and neck cancers that are caused by HPV. Um, those more often develop in men um, in, in their 60s, and then cervical cancer, and of course that affects women who have a cervix, right? Um, uh, these are slow-growing cancers. You can screen especially for cervical cancer, but your best bet is just to prevent the risk of acquiring these cancer strains that can lead to cancer. All right, so this vaccine is called Gardasil 9. By the way, I have no reason to promote this except I'm a public health professor, and there's been data that's shown that this has reduced infection and reduced negative health outcomes. I'll show you on the next slide a little bit of that information. So 92% of HPV-related cancers can be prevented with the uptake of this vaccine series. So does it work? Yes. We've got two different images here. The one that's the, the CDC image shows that around 2006, when women started getting the vaccine, girls around 11 and 12 got the vaccine, up until 2007, 2010, you've seen the rate of infection cut in half. Um, of, of HPV infections. Um, this other slide shows a reduction in genital warts in both men and women over time after the uptake or after getting the HPV vaccine. So yes, it works. And is it safe? Yes. Um, the most common side effects include pain at the site of injection, um, some heat at the site of injection, some slight swelling. Rarely, but it can occur, you might have fatigue, you might have a headache, and you might feel feverish that day. It's not linked back to death. Um, it's not linked back to infertility. There have been a bunch of myths about this vaccine. This vaccine is safe. Should you get the vaccine? As your public health professor, yes, I think everyone should get the vaccine, unless they've been told by their healthcare provider not to. Um, so what now? Um, well, first of all, uh, the vaccine, if you have health insurance, is covered. Um, it's covered up until age 26 on your insurance. Now, um, recently it's been approved for use up until age 45. Currently, health insurance plans are all covering it up to age 26. If you don't have health insurance and you're under the age of 19, you can get this vaccine that's otherwise pretty expensive from your local health department. Um, there's also a Merck assistance program that you can apply for. You're not guaranteed to be able to get the vaccine. However, it's worth looking into that as an option because otherwise, again, the vaccine is around $230 to $250. It's really expensive, and there are three doses of it um, that you have to space out over six months. Um, so what should you do next? Talk to your healthcare provider. Ask them about the vaccine. Um, seek the vaccine because, again, this is a cancer prevention resource and a resource that helps prevent genital warts. That's pretty great. Um, so I'm not, I'm not uh, encouraging you to become sexually active by getting this vaccine. Um, I'm not encouraging you to do anything except to protect yourself and to empower yourself against this really common virus that doesn't need to be causing cancers around the world. And here's my reference slide. If you want any information of what I'd included, these are the sources I used. Thanks so much and have a great day.